Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's Skincare Saturday. Uh, like I said, I wanted to do a review of the Dove Holiday Treats as soon as possible. So I've been, I've used all three uh, scents, flavors, I've used all three scents and uh, I've been using them for a little over a week straight, straight. So if you'd like to see if the Dove Holiday Treats body wash body scrub and also the indifference for deodorant that is over on my counter is worth picking up if it's worth the price what i think of the scents all that kind of stuff and then please keep on watching well have to excuse me i did something to my left shoulder pulled it or something how who knows i don't know I do not know. Okay, so um, as you saw in that little uh, haul video, I ended up getting all three scents. I got the Pecan Butter Crunch, I got the Apple Cider Caramel, and I also got the Cinnamon Pumpkin Pie. So got all three, including all three body scrubs and all three um, antiperspective deodorants. So um, I like to start out with body wash personally, that's just me. Um, sometimes I will do body scrub first, but we'll just start with uh, body wash. So the um, Dove Holiday Treat body washes, they are 20 fluid ounces. Um, they are PETA approved, vegan, 98% um, biodegradable formula, has 24 hour renewing micro moisture, all that kind of stuff. So um, if you know you like Dove's, um, if you know you like Dove's body washes, because I have another Dove body wash, it is their coconut restoring. Um, I like Dove's um, formula of body washes. If you do know that you like Dove, you'll probably like the body washes too. Uh, it, besides the scent, I feel like it's the exact same formula as the regular Dove body washes. Anyway, so they are nicely thick, not super, super thick, but they've got some nice viscosity to them. Let me just put it that way. And the scents, the scents are just to die for. Like they are amazing. Um, as I was going through using all three um, throughout the week and everything like that, I was kind of like, oh, well, I kind of want to say which is my favorite. They're all amazing in their own way. Um, it's not like, oh, like, you know me, I love pumpkin spice. I'm one of those gals that I am a pump pumpkin spice slut. Um, when it's this time of year, even before it's this time of year, I'm all about the pumpkin spice. So, but all of them are actually really, really nice. Um, so, really, really nice scent. It sets us up nicely. Um, I do like to use a re like the reusable like loofah washcloth. Um, but I'm sure this will work just amazingly um, on a loofah, a washcloth, or probably just your hands if that's the way you like to like to wash. Very, very moisturizing as well. Sorry, I am covered, literally covered in mosquito bites and bruises. Mosquito bites and bruises. I really wish I knew what I did to my shoulder. Oh wow. Um, a really, really nice body wash. Um, very soft, really nice scent. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the uh, limited edition body scrub. No sulfate, cleansers, moisturizing cream, once again, vegan, 100% uh, recycled jar. You do get 10.5 fluid ounces, which I believe is a little bit less than a tree, full size tree hut. Tree huts are, let's see here, um, 18 ounce, so quite a bit less, but I mean, also tree hut is expensive. So by the way, I spent $6.97 a piece. So $6.97 for the body wash, $6.97 for the body scrub. Um, okay. Like I said in that haul video, all the, all the products smell the same. So the body wash, the body scrub, and the antiperspirant deodorant, they all smell the same across the board. Um, I had tried the body scrubs not too long ago and it didn't really feel like it did anything. This is a very, very fine grained exfoliator. Like you would look at it, you wouldn't even see exfoliating greens. It's just so fine, but there is. It is probably one of the finer um, exfoliator 
like body exfoliating creams or whatever you want to call it that I've ever tried. It smells really good. And yeah, it does a really, really good job of like polishing and removing dead skin cells. But yeah, really, really, really fine body scrub exfoliant pieces in it. I do have to say, um, I do like the body scrubs a lot. I think that if you do have sensitive skin, I think this is going to be a good option for you because Tree Hut's really gentle too, but there's something about this where it's so fine, there's absolutely no jagged pieces. It's just a super, super micro fine exfoliant that I think a lot of people would probably really, really like this. And yeah, it smells really good. All that kind of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to rinse. I do have to also rinse my hair because I have conditioner so deep. But um, yeah, I do like the body scrub too. It's good stuff. Let me tell you, good, good stuff. Okay, everything rinses really cleanly, uh, which is lovely. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get out. Uh, that way we can talk about the Antifurst Brew deodorant and I can give you my final thoughts on the Dove holiday treats, body scrub, body washes, and anti-perspire deodorant. So I will see you here in just a second. I am out, I am wearing a sports bra, so that way we can talk about the anti-perspire deodorant. So um, it does come in all three scents. So you do have the pecan butter crunch, you also have the apple cider caramel, and also the cinnamon pumpkin pie. So whatever scent you do decide to get, if you're not gonna get all three, which you don't need all three. I didn't need all three. I'm a YouTuber. No, I wanted all three because I missed out on them last year and it was an impulse buy, but they are really nice and I do like them. And shocker, I do recommend them, but okay. So limited edition anti first print. So once again, Peter Brew, vegan, all that kind of stuff. Um. I'm a sweaty gal, uh, you all know this. Um, this is an okay antiperspirant. Um, sorry, my damn shoulder, ugh. So it's an okay antiperspirant. Of course, it's still like 95 degrees here. Um, as the weather cools down, I am less of a sweater, but um, I do have to reapply this. Like, at least, I, I do, I, I have to reapply this like once. Um, yeah, that is, that's it. Those are the three things I bought. They also do have a hand wash. Like I said, I wish they would have come out with a lotion. I'm using the Bath Body Works Vanilla Mocha Martini. Thought it would go good. This isn't my favorite body spray, but we use things even if we're not the biggest fan of them. So, unless it's that Be Pure Solid Shampoo Bar from Dollar Tree, then we do not do that. Um, so, my thoughts on the Dove Holiday Treats collection. I think they're really, really nice. Um, I love the scents. Scents are amazing. Quality-wise, still the same good Dove quality. Um, price point, I think, is really, really good. I was actually, like, in my Amazon cart right now is some Tree Hut pumpkin, um, some new pumpkin stuff, right, from Tree Hut. Uh, yeah, they're like $12 a piece. These are seven. Um, and what's nice, too, is that the Dove holiday treats the scent actually lasts on the skin, right? The minute you get out of the shower or tub after using a Tree Hut body wash, there's no scent, okay? It's nice in the shower, it's nice in the bathtub, but there's absolutely no scent. So what's nice, oh, what's nice about the Dove stuff is that there is gonna be a lingering scent. Um, I like the body scrub, like I said, I think it is a really nice, very fine micro exfoliant, which is lovely no skin irritation. Um, and then the antiperspirant deodorant, it's fine. Um, I think if you're just a regular sweater, cause like, look at this, I already, I'm already sweating. Like it's ridiculous. Let me hurry up and rinse my, my, this is what I do off camera all the time is I have to pat and then come right back over here and pretend like nothing happened. Um, the antiperspirant deodorant, if you're just a regular sweater, not a heavy sweater, like I am, I think it's going to work totally fine for you. But I would recommend the Dove Holiday Treats. Um, all scents are great. Um, if I had to say, like, if you... It, obviously, if you like pumpkin, get the cinnamon pumpkin pie. If you like apple, which the caramel apple is 
superb, amazing. If you like something that's a little bit more sweet treat, a little bit more, this kind of smells kind of chocolatey to me, then I would recommend getting this one, the um, Pecan Butter Crunch. They're all really nice. Do you need all three? That's up to you. I didn't need all three, but I'm glad I do have all three because they're fun and they're good quality. They're good products and they are way cheaper than some of the other uh, new fall bath and body stuff that's being released. Uh, cheaper than Bath and Body Works. Cheaper than Tree Hut. Is it cheaper than the uh, personal care um, pumpkin spice body wash that we found yesterday at Dollar Tree? No, but I also haven't tried that yet. But I do like these. I do recommend them. I think that they are worth picking up if you are interested in them. So there we go. Once again, this is not sponsored. I bought all that crap myself. It was like 60 something dollars worth of bath crap. Once again, wouldn't recommend it buying all of them unless you want to. For me, like I said, it was an imp impulse buy. I'm like, I had FOMO, fear of missing out again. There we go. But anyway, yeah, go to give the video a thumbs up, share it, all that kind of stuff. If you did enjoy this week's Skincare Saturday, let me know down below in the comments if you've picked up any of these. Um, or do you think you're going to? Let me know down below in the comments and make sure that you do subscribe. I do upload seven days a week all about budget stuff. So I do budget beauty, vlogs, grocery hauls, recipes. I do all sorts of stuff. So make sure that you do subscribe, but I do appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start autoplaying here in a moment. It might be one of mine, it might be somebody else's, but sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll see y'all here in just a sec.